Hey guys, it's Thursday, 12.38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on August 23rd, 2018. And for those of you who are new to my channel, and if you're subscribed to In Truth by Grace, you are new to my channel because I used to have a channel last year called The Truth Channel. And it was actually taken down because of, I'm not exactly sure, I didn't get any strikes or anything, but I was covering both the California fires and the hurricanes from last year. Now, if you were a subscriber to that channel, you guys know that I had uploaded a video on the Canyon fires um, right before the hurricane that hit Houston. Okay, now the Canyon fires were from a long time ago, but I had noticed what, what I pointed out in that video was that we had a whole bunch of houses that were decimated without any of the shrubs or the trees or anything burned around those houses. Well, here's evidence of the exact same thing from 2018 to give you an idea of what I was talking about back then. And here's another example here of this Arby's that was flattened with no, no indication. So just to let you know how my mind thinks, when I heard about the Houston hurricanes, it was at the same time I was giving a great deal of thought to how this kind of stuff could happen in fires in general. So I wondered if there was any way for us to track a hurricane as it approached the area that was destroyed. Now I didn't start thinking about that till after the Houston hurricane. But what I found in tracking all the hurricanes that came thereafter, which included this quote unquote Hurricane Irma, was that based on the wind speed instruments that our government uses to trace hurricanes, to actually validate that the wind speeds are hurricane strength, I was finding, you guys, that we weren't having hurricanes at all. What I demonstrated in my videos last year was that, for example, I'll use Hurricane Irma, the one that came up through Florida, was that the wind speeds that I was getting, see how many of these buoys we have down around Florida? I traced all through the Caribbean, I traced this alleged Hurricane Irma and could not find any indication even once throughout all those videos I did to prove that there were hurricane force winds anywhere. And what I found very interesting was I know people in Marco Island who actually were evacuated from that area where CNN was telling us the wind speeds were 150 mile an hour or 110, I don't know, but they were over 100 mile an hour winds. And yet what I was getting from the buoys and the, and the actual land-based airport readings from the wind, of the wind speeds were that those winds didn't exceed 60 miles an hour. And when the people came back to their evacuated property, they said, yeah, the, their, the destruction isn't anywhere near as bad as what they told us, but it did look like the wind speeds were close to 40 to 60 miles an hour, which was exactly what I traced in my videos. Well, I tried to do the same thing this year. So far, CNN has been reporting this Hurricane Lane for the last handful of days. And I want you guys to think about this. Where does this guy, how does this guy know, or any of our news people, how do they know that there's a hurricane? Well, they get the information, not because they're sitting on some yacht in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with wind speed instruments. No, they get the information that there's a hurricane there based on our National Oceanic Atmospheric Administrator's Office, or NOAA's office. NOAA puts out these press releases, okay? And on August 20th, they put out a press release saying that 11 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, an eye of a hurricane was located by aircraft. This is critical, you guys, because here we have NOAA actually telling us how they are locating the eyes of these hurricanes. We have all these wonderful cartoon images that we get from supposed NASA satellites but what we actually get from NOAA is the admission that these guys are using aircraft to, to pinpoint where the, the location of these hurricanes are, okay? So we got a report from NOAA saying that there's a hurricane in the Pacific Ocean. Now, at that time, they gave us the longitude and latitude of 14 north and 151 west. Well, if you go to the National Oceanic uh, let's see, administ uh, Atmospheric Administrator's Office, you're going to find that there is no buoy in that location that they gave us. So I had to wait a couple of days until one of their press releases actually gave us a location that was close enough to one of the buoys that they actually have. 
Now here's what I want to do, you guys. I just want to present the evidence of, of what actual what what we can actually measure. Not not the sensationalism, not the cartoons, not some guy sitting in an office somewhere in New York. I want you guys to know what these stupid little tax funded instruments that are floating around in the water actually tell us. These are the instruments, you guys, that our own government uses to measure the wind, the waves, the barometric pressure, all the things that diagnose a hurricane are data points that are collected by these things. And finally, <clears throat> based on the um, reports from NOAA we can, and, and the longitude and latitude, we finally have a buoy, which is buoy number 51002, close enough to this hurricane lane to actually do some measurements. So let me point out and just establish the, the veracity of what I'm telling you by pointing out that Hurricane Lane, as of 823, is located at this particular, let me get you that point here. And you guys can go and do this yourself on Google Earth. Just go to 16.9 north and 157.4 west and plot that data point in and there you have the eye of the hurricane, okay? Then scroll down and read what it says here, that the maximum sustained winds are near 130 mile an hour with higher gusts, so the maximum sustained winds are 130 miles an hour. And the hurricane force winds extend outward from the eye of the hurricane up to 35 miles from the center. Okay, good. Now, we have that information. We can plot that this hurricane is right here. Then we can go to the buoys that NOAA has in the water. And in this instance, we have a buoy right here. This is buoy number one five, or 51002, and it's located at latitude 17.04 and 157.7. <clears throat> Plot that into Google Earth, you guys, and you're going to see that this buoy is right in the sweet spot of this hurricane. You just do a little measurement here, and you'll see it's, well, that's a little too far. Hold on, wait. <laughs> let, me get, let me do the measurement here. You do the measurement from there to there, and you see it's right within 35 miles, between 30 and 40 miles. So this buoy should be taking a beating because within 35 miles of this little pin here, this little buoy should be getting beaten by winds up to 130 miles an hour. Okay, now let's just look and see what CNN is telling us. CNN is telling us that this is a category, I think they said it's a category four hurricane. Let's just double check here. I think it's in the title that it's a category four hurricane. Yeah, Hawaii is a dangerous category form for storm is heading towards Hawaii. Well, let's take a look and see what a category four storm is. That would be, hold on a second here, category four storm is the second highest hurricane classification category on the Saffir Simpson hurricane scale. And storms that are of that intensity maintain maximum sustained winds of 130 to 156 miles per hour or sustained winds of 113 to 136 knots. Okay, so let's just summarize here. CNN is telling us that that buoy that is within 35 to 40 miles of the eye of that hurricane should be experiencing winds between 113 to 136 knots. Let's just verify by this buoy to see what the actual recorded wind speeds are on this buoy 51002 over the last three sets of readings over the last four hours. Four sets of readings over the last four hours. And here's what we're going to find, you guys. The wind speeds are 42.7 sustained knots. Not you guys, it's not 113 knots. See, it says here it should be a sustained winds of 113 to 136 knots. No, that's not what this buoy is registering. This buoy is registering knots between 42.7 and like 38.9. Now, I'm going to refresh this because I know that the wind speeds have been increasing. So I'm just going to refresh this one time to see. Okay, so the wind speeds now are up to 50.5 knots. Let's go one more time to look at what a Category 4 hurricane is. A Category 4 hurricane should have 113 
to 136 knots. You guys, CNN's information is woefully off. You guys, it's off by 50 knots. This is half the speed based on the actual physical equipment that our tax dollars pay for that give NOAA the information that there is a hurricane there. This is what this is the instrumentation, you guys, that tells us that there is a, an actual hurricane there. And this this buoy, that's the only buoy we have in the vicinity of this alleged storm, is only reading wind speeds of 50.5 knots. Now, granted, I will point out that over the last three hours, the wind speeds have increased from 36.9 to 50.5. And we may actually see this get up to that 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 speed. I don't know. I'm going to be tra tracing this for you guys over the next handful of hours. And if that's the case, then I'll have to say yes. There was a hurricane that came blitzing by this buoy. But as of right now, on Thursday, 12.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, on August 23rd, 2018, we have a press release from NOAA that tells us that within, <clears throat> oops, wait, let me show you this one. This is from today. That within 35 miles of that eye of the hurricane, which I ch plotted for you right here on Google Earth, this buoy should be picking up wind speeds of hurricane force. Now, that would be a minimum, you guys, of 74 miles an hour for it to be classified as a hurricane, which is 64 knots. But as we can see, Neither the information that is pro provided by NOAA is giving us wind speeds of 64 knots, and neither is the information that we're getting from CNN of 113 to 130 knots being recorded by this buoy. And yet this buoy is within 40 miles of the eye of the hurricane. You guys, this is the exact same thing that happened over and over and over and over again in all the videos I made last summer, and it killed my channel because of it. So I don't know. I just want you guys to, to get the wind speed readings that are actually there. Now, it is showing that the gusts are up to 68. Okay, so the gusts are high. A hurricane is not defined by gusts. The gusts can be a very, very high, but the actual hurricane is defined by maximum sustained winds. All right? So there's obviously a storm heading through here. I will concede that there is 100% a storm going through here. But here's my concern, you guys. Just like we saw last year, with just like we saw last or this year, with this kind of damage, if we don't see the actual fire crawling up to this kind of damage, I don't think we're very wise to, con to, con to conclude that this is a wildfire because the wild is not on fire. Just like I'm concerned that although there is a storm here, you guys, it's not the hurricane that they're reporting to us. In fact, this isn't a hurricane at all. These are strong tropical winds, as of right now, effective today. And here's the deal, you guys. These are the instruments that this branch of our government uses to record and report that there is a hurricane here. So I don't know, you guys. My big, my big concern is that we aren't going to pain on these buoys and yet we're going to end up with the damage that looks like a hurricane is swept through there. So I don't know, you guys. I just thought I'd bring this to you. I will be monitoring this and bringing you the raw data as I get it. I'll put the links in the description, you guys. Feel free to investigate this stuff on your own because just as we should see forest fires rolling up to these houses to burn them and we don't, I'm concerned that we're seeing storms, but they're nowhere near the force of, of the storm that they're reporting to us. And I, I, I don't know how to explain that. I'll bring you updates soon. Have a good day.